<laughs> what we have today is an unboxing, and this isn't one of my paid promotions where they sent me something. Uh, we, uh, we're not getting paid for this. Well, actually, my son paid. He paid $500, and what do we have? We have a Starlink satellite. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So let's see what we got. When did you order this, Peter? I registered, I think that's the word for it, back in April. I paid $99 at deposit. Yeah. And originally they said it was going to be in the summertime that I was actually going to be notified about receiving the kit, but there's been a huge, huge backlog because of the silicone wafer shortage or something, supply chain is, issues. Uh, Thanksgiving Day and you got it yesterday. Yep, just after there was a big news article actually, the very day I received it about how they were backlogged and some people were gonna have to wait another year or two. So we get a little graphic of what we got. Dish, modem, plug it into the wall, get your app on your phone. Uh, packaging, check out that. We can use that for a boat when the creek comes up. <laughs> uh, base for the dish and the dish itself. Oh, the packaging. Well, I guess that goes in there. Somebody told me that this is third generation, that the prior two dishes that they were sending out, he's a guy that works for Starlink or used to. Yeah. Uh, the prior ones were larger and circular, and this is the third generation dish that's rectangular and a bit smaller, apparently. He said otherwise, the uh, technology is all the same, though, in terms of their functionality. The modem... And a power cord for the modem plugs into the wall and 100 feet of Ethernet cable. That's what we get. And an instruction manual, hopefully. Uh, no? Well, not for these old eyes. <laughs> Look how small the print is. Upside down. <laughs> that how, is. How could I tell? Those are the regulatory notices in multiple languages. I really think oh. that the instruction manual is this very simple chart right here. No, I think the instruction manual is you get it on your phone. Or your oh, that's right. They did recommend computer. through an email that I download the Starlink app. Right, the Starlink app? Mm hmm. And um, that's what we're going to do next. So anyway, exciting day here. Yeah, out in the middle of nowhere. I've been working off uh, another company's internet connection. It's a snail speed. So, anyway. so here we go. Proud new owner of a Starlink satellite dish. Yeah, it's been super slow out here with one of the other companies out in the middle of nowhere. I'm used to living in the city with a super fast connection and um, I have a YouTube channel of my own um, and it's just been so hard to upload videos because my upload speed is so, so slow. The first time I tried it being down here, an eight minute video took me 13 hours to upload. <laughs> uh, did you want to tell them what your YouTube channel is? Bugs in Cyberspace. Of course. I put it up in 2008. But then the channel got demonetized for reasons I never really understood. I think for lack of activity because I took a few years off. And so I restarted it a few years ago. And um, my only goal in life is to catch up to dad. <laughs> <laughs> Three steps on the Starlink app to yeah. find our location, ideal location for setting this thing up. Oh, I thought you were going to try it over here on the corner of the carport. Well, I was going to, but I would have to get up there. And oh. You I think your suggestion of putting it up here, if the cord reaches, yeah. is probably the best one. This is your solar array, 
And I think that if you had it right here, stand right here on this corner. And then, what does it say to do on the app? Uh, scan the entire sky. Use your device's camera to explore your Starlink's entire field of view. That was step two. And then stand still. Try not to move your device too much. And remember that your Starlink is only a couple feet above the ground. Okay. What does it mean your Starlink is only a couple feet above the ground? I think you're going to set it on the ground. Okay. Well, I don't want to stand right here because this is obstructing my field of view. We're going to have it above this well, stand, panel. Is that correct? Stand out so here. I, I think I need to stand out here because you read earlier that we need 110 degrees of open sky, right? For it to work properly. If I stand right there, that thing's going to block like like 75% of the sky. It's 110 degrees to the north, not to the south. Did you say it's to the north because you looked at the satellite, where the satellites are? Also read a whole bunch of stuff about it. Okay. But stand right here and see if it tells you it's okay. Yeah, well, that'll be interesting. And if it tells you it's not okay, then I'll go reread what I read. <laughs> so, do you want to look at what I'm looking at here? Yeah, I do. It says to look up. Scan the entire sky. Well, well where's the stand still part come in? Stand in one place. Oh. And then scan the entire. So we're going to view the results. Estimated obstructions. So I'm guessing that this thing is going to be a huge obstruction right behind us here. And so it says, you may want to find a better spot. Clear view, obstructions, try a new location. So I'm going to go out here in the middle now so that this stand isn't the same obstruction. Let's see what happens. So try a new location. So we're going to do our ladder here. That's a great little ladder, tucks up real nice underneath your RV storage panels. I think I got it. It's a 12 foot ladder. I figured if I held the camera, you'd do the climbing. Wrong. <laughs> so we're, we're here under the carport and we thought we'd go up here and test to see using the Starlink app. Scanning the sky. Pretty sure those trees are going to be an obstruction. View results. It says estimated obstructions. You may want to find a better spot. Yep. And it actually shows um, the trees there in yeah. the obstruction. Yep. That's interesting. You can see the outline of the trees. Oh. So it shows you what's obstructing. Yeah, and uh, north, south, east, west, what direction. Let's go. Easy. Well, we're trying this other corner of the carport. You may want to find a better spot, so the carport is not going to work. Well, we found an okay place. The final result of all of our testing is that nothing behind the dish matters, nothing directly to the left or directly to the right matters. You need 55 degrees on each side of true north for a total of 110 degrees from east to west and from the horizon to about straight up a clear view and it's working perfectly here on top of the chimney. Yes! Thank you, Starlink. 305 down, 31 up. Happy campers today. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.